Hello everyone. Following Sunday's video for the Facebook group Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More where I created these two pieces here um, which were done with the exception of the branches. They were done with um, water soluble products. Oh and the flock of birds that was done with archival ink but everything else was um, created with water soluble products and I received a few comments asking whether um, I planned on fixing or whether I had already fixed um, the, the pieces. So I just wanted to share my thoughts regarding um, fixatives and you know when and whether it is is necessary. I've answered the comments that I've received. Um, you guys have seen me create using water soluble products lots and lots and lots of times in the past. This is um, the Christmas page here or one of the Christmas pages I did in my art journal um, for, for the festive prompt. I've not sealed this and I really really don't see the need to either or find that you know feel that it's necessary. This is a page that will stay in my art journal and you know I will look at it maybe I'll show some of my my friends and family but it's not going to get handled on a regular basis and so I just don't feel that it's necessary to seal this piece. I'm not planning on adding anything liquid um, to it which will activate any of the colours that are in the background so you know no need I just feel that you know it's absolutely fine to just leave this this be. Um, the same here this was the festive prompt for New Year that um, I did with alcohol um, inks. I've not sealed this either really don't see that it's necessary because again this is just staying um, in my my journal. Um, what else have I done? This one here the Valentine's page that um, I did this is staying in my journal. This is a distress oxide background and again you know it's not going to can't come into contact with anything liquid and so you know just I just feel that you know it's fine to just just leave that be no fixatives required however this was the page that I did for the January words prompt um, I used Bombay inks and um, isopropyl alcohol on the reverse side of photo paper and then I um, stamped the image over the top using Ranger archival ink. Now this is where I think a fixative um, is necessary because the reverse side of photo paper is uh, non-porous um, meaning that the paints just sit on the top although Bombay inks are a permanent um, product um, the paper that I used was porous so of course they have a tendency to sit on the top and I've used a fixative to seal these um, I just used a cheap one this one here Frisk um, graphic art materials which was still expensive it was £8.50 but half the price of a De La Rowney product for in um, instance and it's a pastel fixative and I think it's absolutely fine for things like distress oxides, um, chalk pastels, um, water soluble, um, oil pastels and, and that kind of thing. That has worked for me. Um, I'm not going to recommend any others because um, you know that's the only one that I have ever used. I've tried hairspray in the past and that you know that seems to work okay for me but I've heard negative um, comments about it as well so you'd have to do your own research. But the reason I used a fixative on top of this was to, just to stop everything moving around. Um, now this was the first time that I had used a fixative or found it necessary to use a fixative and I learnt my lesson the hard way because I put too much on, it's a spray fixative and I sprayed too much on, probably did it too closely as well and everything bled um, and there were a couple of pieces that I had to redo and completely start again because I had just completely ruined them. You need to hold your fixative from a distance and just spray, 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 um, short burst until it's covered, leave it for 10 minutes, walk away and then come back and give it another coat and I think I gave my pieces three coats um, and that was absolutely fine so you know read the instructions and, and take heed that you know it's really really easy, easy to just spread everything around and reactivate everything and ruin what you've already created so that was one instance where I felt that it was necessary to seal a piece using a spray fixative. I've also sprayed um, these pieces here here. Um, 
These ones, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I will be keeping these for my own personal um, use and um, they won't be going into a journal, but um, you know whether I'll mount them or pop them into a picture frame, I really don't know, I haven't decided. But just to make sure that you know I, um, I don't get any fingerprints in them. That's the other thing with Distress Oxides. If you're handling things um, too much, you can get fingerprints um, in them. So I just felt that um, the best thing to do with these was to spray them with that spray fixative. There is also a couple of other products that um, that you can use. This is another um, Distress Oxide background. It hasn't had any stamping on. This is just um, blended in the same way that um, I did with these two here. And I will leave the link to this video as well for anybody who hasn't seen it. I had a few technical difficulties um, on Sunday with this video here um, and it kept going onto private mode. I had to reset it to public about 15 times on Sunday. I don't know what was going on so I know that a lot of people might not have seen this um, video but the background for this piece here was done in exactly the same way. It just hasn't had any stamping or anything added to it but it was just blended distress oxides and then sprayed with water and I used the Tim Holtz Distress Micro Glaze um, to fix the Distress Oxides um, on this piece here. I haven't done it with these two here for the reason being that I just didn't think about it until, you know, I completely finished um, the piece. As, as some of you know that, you know, I make things up as I'm going along and, you know, I'm in the moment, I'm in the flow and, um, you know, I did the, the Distress Oxide background and at that time I had no idea what I was going to do, do next. But, you know, I have tried the Distress Micro Glaze and that seems to, you know, work really, really well. Um, I have also... Um, heard that an alternative to this is cheap old Vaseline um, petroleum jelly. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, I have tried in the past um, chalk wax. Um, this is the um, wax that you use to seal painted furniture and this works an absolute treat. I have sealed um, alcohol inks using this um, and it's just, you know, absolutely fine. Daddy Vans um, is another thing. I know that I've heard uh, Shannon Green definitely and a few others um, talk about sealing their work with daddy vans and I think this is a very similar product this one is a white finish which was why I didn't use it on these because it would have whoops daisy subdued my backgrounds but you know that's certainly um, an alternative so we've got the Tim Holtz distress glaze we've got furniture wax um, and we've got um, what was the other thing I, I said um, oh, Vaseline, that's it, Vaseline. Um, but as I say, with these ones here, I sort of just sprayed the finished pieces with three coats of um, fixative. So, you know, going back to the questions that um, I received following Sunday's video, I really, really do think it depends um, on what you are planning on doing with your pages as, as to whether you feel it's necessary to fix something or not. If it's staying in an art journal, then, you know, I personally wouldn't bother. You might feel differently about it. Um, but, you know, if you're going to handle something often, then, you know, by all means, use a spray fixative. Another alternative, this was the page... Um I did for one of um, last year's art journal prompts and I used wax crayons. Um, in fact, no, this was using oil pastels, I do believe, where I had rubbed over garden leaves from the garden in the autumn and I sealed this um, with clear, clear gesso. That was the fixative that um, I used to fix these ones here and I created my background and then I put a coat of clear gesso onto a piece of parchment paper and just put my background upside down onto the clear gesso to seal because of course I didn't want everything peeling off. So I hope that's given you a few ideas as to, you know, whether you for one think that um, a fixative is necessary and has maybe given you um, a few alternatives to think about. Um, whilst I'm sort of onto this, I've, I've been playing um, again with that bird and bee stencil. Um, just with a few different colours. I wanted one because, of course, I added my co quote to these um, pieces here. I'm happiest when I'm with you. You are enough. Um, and I wanted one that I could just use as a card background. And I'm going to take this to my local um, photocopying shop, um, local printers, and get this um, copied just so that I can um, use it as a card base in Happy Mail. I just think this is lovely and I might even do a few um, originals. This is another one that's created on picture framing mount board. I've also also been having a play with some other colourways as well. This one was done um, again with Distress Inks but I think that was Picked Raspberry and the Wilted um, Violet. 
that one i i prefer this colorway in all honesty but um there we go that's um another alternative and then these two i was experimenting with doing them on um, mixed media in fact these are watercolor paper i think yes this is watercolor paper and seeing whether it would work as well on watercolor paper you get um, a different look just because of the texture of the watercolor i personally prefer it on um the picture framing mount board because it's a smoother surface i have always said when i've used distress oxides um, that I find them easier to blend and easier to use on a smooth cardstock base um, and this has just proved it um, in my opinion this one is smoother than than this one here um, I don't know why that is I don't know what I've done with this one um, probably blended it a, a, a bit more I don't know um, but as I say I'll leave the link to the video where I created these in the description box below but I hope that's answered some of your questions regarding um, fixatives now a disclaimer I am not a qualified artist. I never call myself an artist because, you know, I don't consider myself um, to be one. I play with mixed media and that's what I do. And so I'm just sharing what I've picked up and what I've learnt along the way. Um, if you've got any thoughts or comments, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave them in the um, comment section below because I think, it, you know, it helps all of us and answers some of those questions that, you know, a lot of us have um, in, in our heads. So if that was helpful, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up and you know let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now